Howdy, everybody. Um, we just pushed out uh, big data to all the sites so, and made a bunch of different changes to how it's organized. So I thought I'd share some of those um, looking here at uh, the public version of our site. So going to big data, you'll see uh, that the front page is a little bit different. We still have the banner that has the major project. Now one note is that this major project will not be introduced till about halfway through the unit um, so that they have time to work on some prerequisite knowledge and things that they need to in order to do so. Um, some other things on the front page which you'll see immediately is a calendar which I'll show you in a second. This is for you and the students to have a better overview of the uh, course um, as well as a glossary for the students uh, that I'll show you in a little bit. Um, one big thing that we moved here is that all of the lesson materials are available in Canvas, so there's no more Word docs or things outside of Canvas. Everything is in here for you. So looking at the organization, you see we still have it in subtopics, but under the subtopics we have included the lesson plans and kind of all the materials that would go along with that lesson plan directly underneath it. Now, when you click the lesson plan, it'll bring you to a lesson plan page. Now this one, these pages are not visible to students. So these have some materials that um, are teacher specific, um, like discussion questions and things like that. And this will go take you step by step through what we think um, you should do for your lesson, including homework and some extra resources. All of these links are live uh, and PowerPoints and things like that are embedded so that you can just click and uh, automatically access that file. You can see it's downloaded to my computer. Um, links to Canvas and out external sources are also included in here along with discussion board topics. Um, going back to the front page. So in this first lesson plan you see that students are going to be doing starting this assignment called My Data Rules um, in which they're going to write a pledge about uh, how they want to use their data or not use their data. Uh, and they'll be reading a couple of pages um, and completing a discussion, etc. There are more activities in the lesson plan than there are here because some of them are offline, like class discussions or small little uh, add ons. Um, but you'll see that kind of works for each of the lesson. You're going to have all these little materials to try and help you out um, and make it easier for your students to know exactly what they need to do if they miss a day or what's coming up. Um, you can also see we use these kind of orange highlights um, to, pull, to, to make it easier to see uh, assignments and discussions. Um, towards the end, we start to get into some work days and presentation days and you can see there's less materials because at this point they should be working on their projects um, more in, de in, in, in detail. And at the bottom, as always, we have our common language um, use in this unit. Um, let me go ahead and show you one of the new features is the calendar. So before we gave a, an outlined calendar and a Word document, but this time we've given an outlined calendar that this is uh, both view viewable by students and teachers um, so that they can have an overview of what, the, the top, what they're going to be doing that day, what the objectives are that they should be learning, and any homework that they're going to be responsible for. Um, for teachers, uh, these lesson plans are clickable, so if you click to the lesson plan, it will take you to that, well, that lesson plan as it should, and it has a more detailed description of what's going to go on during that day, including links to all the various materials like I showed you before. Going back to the calendar, so this goes all the way through um, all the way down through uh, lesson 25 and um, yeah so let's take a look at for students for students um, uh, we hope that this organization makes it clear to them kind of the order and what they need to do um, but one feature we added to is this glossary now we're, tr we're still making some changes to the glossary but we wanted to get this available um, what we've done here is created a page that is editable both by students and teachers. So this is the first page that students can actually edit as well. Um, and we've, we've identified the main terms that we think are important for students to know if uh, they're going to be knowledgeable about big data. We've also included some images for parts of these, etc. 
Now, what we ask here, kind of this disclaimer, is that they go ahead and create um, the definitions and things like that for the rest of the glossary. We want them to make this their kind of note page um, and for them to participate in the creation of this knowledge um, by adding uh, definitions, by adding maybe images or links to external pages, etc. Um, this can be a tool, hopefully, that will help them uh, along the way. The other change um, that will be beneficial to them, it, well, it's similar to the outline here, is that if they go to the module section, and now there is a big data module, um, and all of these materials you can kind of go, they can go through an order, um, and it's uh, uh, and clickable at the bottom to see um, where everything is. Um, but hopefully the front page will provide them ever the overview that they need to be successful. Uh, so that's kind of the overview of our new module. Um, we're excited to see uh, students work from big data. Um, their final project is hopefully going to, they're going to make a TEDx-like talk um, in which they analyze a big data set in order to create this dynamic presentation. Um, and for schools that want to go above and beyond, um, you know, we'd love to see a, a TEDx youth um, conference or organization kind of put on. Um, there's been one recently in, in Tech in Austin where a couple of schools got together and, and uh, they've right here you can read more about it. Um, they organized this um, collection of TED Talks presented by their students to their specific audience. So maybe you can get a couple of classes together or do it after school and uh, have students share their work um, in that manner or maybe just online with the world. Anyways, that's big data. Uh, as always, please feel free to send me, Tara or Brad, any questions or concerns that you have or any feedback for how we can make future modules better. Um, we will continue to make changes um, in upcoming units, and good luck!